Manchester United back Premier League again. Is anyone really looking forward to this match? To be honest, it's the final game before the international break, and Manchester United have got to go out on a high. To be honest, otherwise the pressure is really going to. It is starting to mount on Solskjaer after that horrendous Europa League game where he seemed happy with the draw and said that Manchester United should have won it when we didn't have a single shot on target. Now. There's got to be some sort of improvement from this. And even a scrape win probably won't ease the pressure on Solskjaer now, I don't think. The pressure's going to stay there until the performance is improved. Um, Manchester United, I'm afraid, need to swap someone aside to ease the pressure because we've not scored more than a single goal in a game since that Chelsea game. That's the only game in a long, long time that we've done that. So we've got to score more than one. We really need to score more than one in this game. And if Manchester United were scoring twos regularly, I think we would be winning a lot of games because we're only really letting the odd one one goal in here or two at the most. So the defence is just as is okay. It's not great, but the forward line is just so bad that we're just if we let one if we go behind, there's just no confidence in anyone for Manchester United to get back in the game and turn it around. And I can't remember any if any games where Solskjaer has turned the game around through his tactics, through his changes, through through things of, of what he's done. I mean, Manchester United have got back in a few games under Solskjaer and most of them, I think they were pretty much, probably all pre him signing the contract to be permanent manager. And the, if you look back at like the PSG game, there was mistakes in it. We got very fortunate. It wasn't really Solskjaer's tactical genius and his great substitutions that got Manchester United back in them games. That's what I'm what, and that's what I'm worried about at this moment in time. He just doesn't seem to know what to do to change a game. And we've got to get the three points in this one. There is no question about it. Newcastle have been absolutely fucking dog shite. Steve Bruce is under massive pressure as well. And to be honest, this has got the writing of a nil-nil. It really does. Neither side is scoring many goals. Both sides are absolutely fucking turd. And I don't even know what sort of side Manchester United are going to put out. Obviously, David Hare will be in goal, but the back four, I don't have a clue. Juan Basaka seems to be out, <clears throat> so probably going to be 2 1 to AB at left back, Ashley Young at right back, and then Maguire and Lindelof as the centre halves. I mean, I personally think he should carry on with Brandon Williams in there, probably, but he probably won't. Probably not too many youngsters thrown in at deep end so early on in their careers when we're playing like absolute dog shite. Then midfield is going to be interesting. I don't know what he's going to go for. We've got injury concerns. Paul Pogba's probably out as well. So I don't know what he's going to go for. But McTominay will come back in. It will probably be Matic and Fred in there, I suppose. I, I just don't know what he's going to go with. He won't go with Gomez again, I don't think. And then the, the forward lines. I mean, Jesus Christ. What's, is he going to play someone? Oh, I don't know. This this is a real conundrum. He could go with a with the forward. I mean, you got the three in midfield, then the four. I I don't know. I mean, the forward line. He probably going to play prayer out one side. I mean, I mean Rashford up front and and James. It's going to be something like that. You might have one matter in the number ten as as well. I I just don't know. It's going to be something similar to that. I mean, but Jesus Christ. There is not much to get excited about. I can't see him playing Greenwood again from the start. He hasn't done in any Premier League game. Chong's not really seeing any minutes and I can't see him starting. But it's going to be some of them players that I've mentioned are going to be starting this game anyway. And we've got to somehow get the victory in this. But he keeps constantly... I mean, Lingard's out, so but he's not really doing anything for Manchester United at all. But neither is Pereira. I mean, Pereira's just been so poor for Manchester United. So... When he plays, is anyone confident that he's going to do anything? I just don't know. I would personally sooner see see Greenwood given another opportunity with Rashford and, and James myself, but I don't think he's going to do that. I really don't. Because at least Greenwood does offer a lot more goal threat. I know he's only 18 years of age. and We've got to nurture him in, in a bit, but after this we've got an international break, so some players may not even get game time. And there's very well chance that Greenwood... Could be on the bench for England's under 21 if he's in the squad. So I would just play him. He's got he's better than than uh, Prera, Mata at this moment in time. Even the likes of James and, and Rashford is performing better than lately. So 
I would still start him, but he, he won't even have him on the bench. But in, in the case of Newcastle, where are their goal threat coming from? They don't score many goals either. They've even brought Andy Carroll back to try and try and do something, but he's never fit. They're, they're an awful side. And it just shows you that I'm not confident that Manchester United are going to beat this awful, turgid Newcastle team that most teams would swat aside comfortably. I mean, they got beaten 5 0 against Leicester only a week ago. Yes, they had 10 men, but they looked woeful in their team. They did, though, have one chance to score early on in that game, which could have made the game different. Well, they missed, missed a very, very good chance, which should have been 1 0 to Newcastle. And then obviously they got the goal, Leicester. They got that man sent off. And it really did, the floodgates really did start to open. And, and Bruce didn't know what to do to tighten up, to get the game just out of the way and, and potentially lose only 2 or 3 nil. The game was far too open. OK, they had 10 men, I do understand, but they just the floodgates were opening. And if that, if that sending off had been an, an, another 20 minutes earlier in that, in that first bit, it would have, in the first half, it, it, would, it could have been six or sevens that game probably because they just looked like they were going to collapse and, were collapse in Newcastle, but I I don't know what I, I can't see Manchester United winning this game somehow. Our away form has been woeful. I'm gonna go for the draw, one one. Anyway, let me know your thoughts on the game. What do you think? If this is a turgid draw, do you think Manchester United will keep Solskjaer in charge because we've got Liverpool up next? That could be the final nail in the coffin for Solskjaer as manager of Manchester United. Let me know your thoughts. Are you Oli in or Oli out? Let me know your thoughts on the game, like the video, subscribe to the channel if you're new and I'll talk to you all again soon. See ya.